this is also part of the services that's going to have free services that will have to be available to the public uh, and well, communities. The government is going to have to step up and help uh, you people fin financially. Have to take the ticket you, back on their own two feet. You need to be financially. Um, uh, you have to kind of go back to the basic of learning about finance and, and learning about, oh, that's mandatory. Uh, mandatory. Uh, you mandatory. know, keeping, that's keeping, you know, uh, just rebuilding again. And, and, and that structure, even if you knew it all, really just kind of going back to the basic, you know, from savings to how much you save and to, to what you buy to, you know, looking at your, your whole expenses and, and really trimming wherever it needs to be trimmed. Um, right now, if you are considering something that is expensive, you're going to want to relook at that and say, do I really need it? Do I not need it? Is this urgent? Is this... Let me, let me give you an example. Who will buy a car right now? You understand what I'm saying? If they could use mass, mass transportation, they'll use it right now. Because that's the most logical way to... Uh, Yes, in this crisis. I do if, see a when lot get of. Back to normal, you know what I, mean? I do see a lot of people, you know, using their bikes and oh, yeah, riding yes, around yes. And, and getting to their destination. To That's another thing that uh, you know, I mean, they're working close to home, uh, sharing a ride. If they if they never if they never do if they never did that before, they did that. Right. Because see a lot of people sharing rides. It won't, what, what, currently not probably, you know, it's, that, that's even challenging this sharing of rides, you know, because we're still not over, well, we're, have to improvise. we're, we're, we're not have over to, this uh, outbreak. Yes, we never thought we, we had in our, in our brains, you know what I mean? You know, when we're, we're not over this, this is still at the, no, this, there's a this, sense. Yes, this is, this is going to be here for, for the, a pretty long time. This is. Yeah, we got. Just speaking about the people here in the United States, there's 325 million people, oh. Americans here in the United States. You know what I mean? Uh, they haven't tested everybody. Well, you know, it's it's. It, this is why it's so important that you have to listen to what's being told, what's being said. You have to wear your mask. You got to continue washing your hands. You yes. have to be mindful yes. and curious, uh, you yes. know, and mindful of your, of your neighbors and, and those who are surrounding you. Um, because this is not over what's happening there's a sense of control in the sense that they are able to control the situation but that is based on people staying home uh and following direction this is serious as long as this virus is out here without you be able to go to work without a vaccine until until there's a, a proper vaccine safe vaccine right you got it but so right now you send these people back to work <laughs> oh my god quite, i mean can, the uh, problem that we have right now can you imagine because you i know you've been on rush hour time and the last time that i went on a rush hour and i was in the train it was so it was so crowded that i've never even ever 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 seen it like that and that was a while ago so you can imagine now it's it's empty right now but if yeah, you go back to that And you have you're gonna have people, uh, uh, you know. I was gonna be that. I, I, I mean, can you imagine? Unimaginable. Yeah. But, uh, and and how the, it would look. and there you are. You're sitting there. You're doing everything you need to do to protect yourself and others. And then you have other folks who, who are probably not gonna have masks or gloves and or anything. Remember, but, remember, we don't know exactly how this virus spreads. Uh, and and that is droplets or, or little spits coming out of your droplets out of your mouth. We don't know how this virus uh, uh, spreads. Don't you understand? Yeah. yeah no. So wearing a mask is only a protection of what they're It is a protection. It's a layer of protection. We don't know how this virus spreads. It, it's not going to, you know, it just protects you, you know. Uh, it's not to say that you can't get it. You still need to be mindful of other things that you have to add on to the layer of protection, uh, you know, from your gloves to stay in your distance. Oh, no, being not to be in public. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that would be yeah. the number one right now. Or to and stay away from people as much as you can. As much as you can. If you can plan it out. If you can do it. If you can, if you can do it. Yeah, if you can do it, if you can plan it out, if you have one of the family member who does all the errands and another one who does this, like 
allocate who does what so not everybody's out at the same time um and really i mean i mentioned i'm i'm like in true uh stay home quarantine you know but many aren't able to and have to go and do the day-to-day -day. and so therefore it is a chance it is a risk be mindful this is real it is happening um we have gotten you know some interesting numbers that are healthy and good but we have to be mindful that this is still out there think about it the ones that haven't gone out they've been out they've been kept out of the cyst out of the, the and they haven't been exposed to this virus right so i mean you, you gotta be listen there's two ways to get uh to be uh confronted with this virus if you're not exposed like every day you go out but as soon as you stay home I would think it would be a much more dangerous position because if you've never been exposed to this virus for the first time because you've been staying inside for 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 days, I mean, when this virus hits you, it's going to hit you. That, that, that's, 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 that's a lot because to... you haven't, you haven't uh, built up any... Immunity uh, to it, immunity, yeah. Pro protective immunity, just in case if that virus does touch your right right but i think that you know you can always you know you could always exercise some you know open air from from you know because well, you, it, I mean, you can't stay inside because this this is it, yeah. you know it's in the you air be, you, you gotta be exposed to the elements yeah but at the same time you do have to be careful we had a peak out uh, you don't know when things are going to peak again go out handle your business and get home part of your regular seasonal flu, we're in big trouble. Yeah. Big trouble because this virus kills people. Don't you understand? It's not like the other flu. Oh, the contagion, the contagion, the contagiousness of this virus is very high. Well, that, that's, that's, that's the danger. That, that is the danger and it's the thing that you are doing everything uh, that you're doing to protect yourself. You're wearing a mask, you're wearing gloves. So when, if people are being not responsible and aren't practicing the same practice, then you are risking a spread. It takes one person to spread. You know, we're hearing stories where family members have all uh, passed away yeah, for one. one other, and we're talking about uh, two or three, four well, members so the in the family. Uh, uh, from spreading from one person to the other. So this is uh, serious. Within the family, you have the same uh, uh, biological you know, you I understand, but and then you know you got to do the test. You got to know who's who, what's what. I mean, if this is going to be all, this test should have been done. This should have been uh, national guard in every corner of the United States, in every block, giving out tests. Why don't they do that? That's why the national guard is there. Hello? I'm here. It is a girl. You know, it's a good question. And um, I mean, put the national guard in each block of every block of every state in the in the United States and get those stats. We got 325 uh, million Americans. I think it's higher too. But right now, that's the number they're giving. That they are 325 wow. million Americans in the United States. We gotta test all of them. Okay. We gotta test all of them. We gotta know what their position is. On this virus, do they have it? Have they been have they been exposed? Or oh, who who's who's at risk? We gotta test all those people. We gotta test. And, and 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 yeah, and then, you know, there's still you know, there's like there's still an after wave. Like even if you've been exposed or not exposed, and if you have been exposed, what what the side effects is there? What markers is there? What what happens? Um, this this is my prediction. For, for this uh, coronavirus. Oh, okay. This virus is going to become much more microscopic, smaller, and undetectable. Yet it's going to cause uh, death left and right, and it's going to mutate. Undetectable. That's, that's going to be my prediction. Well, we heard your prediction, and we are calling all uh doctors to come back to work who have been retired all scientists who've been retired come back to work all these great 
thinkers outside the box come back there has to be a form there has to be a circle that is created so we are all in a room trying and figuring out and designing something that is going to get to the bottom of this and destroy the coronavirus um COVID-19 disease this, uh, this has I mean, to we better, we better be play. number one priority we, better, uh, we have to be all in the we'll room we'll white black time. all different I'm nationalities I'm in a room targeting and getting this cured and getting a vaccine and really strategizing what we need to do so we could be at safe and live life uh at, at safe no, I agree, because, like I said, if they, don't, if they don't get a handle on this virus, right now, yesterday, two days ago, two weeks ago, this virus is going to become stronger and permanent. Well, <laughs> this listen. This virus has the capacity to become permanent. I want, I want to thank you, our premier uh, guest on television, BBTV. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. We're going to continue this conversation. This is part three of our conversation. We're going to have another one. And I hope that you will be available to talk to us. I will. Just give me a call. I'm ready. <laughs> we need everybody's help. And you've been very helpful in sharing uh, your insight. Okay, thank you for allowing me to share my opinions with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will talk to you next. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, there you have it. We have part three of our conversation of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic outbreak here in New York City and around the world. Um, we're going to continue these web series, podcasts, and conversations um, as the television BBTV community speaks up about the coronavirus. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, tune back in to our next episode. Bye-bye. Till then, you count, you matter. Stay in Brooklyn.